make this, it's going to work for him. I, I can see the memes now. The man a little towards who would kill. True. I can go through the and a bullet can't stop Donald Trump. Also true. So this clip recently leaked of Bill Maher's comedy show on the night following the Trump assassination. And I want to react to it today because it's pretty interesting. On one hand, I do want to give him credit for at least being a class act about the situation because Bill Maher is completely Trump deranged, but at least he was not out there cheering or making excuses for an attempted assassination, which another character, of course, it goes by the name of Destiny, cannot say for himself. But on the other hand, Bill Maher also also seems to recognize the reality that whereas Trump seemed to be winning the election before, in his eyes, it seems like Trump has officially been handed the 2024 election, which I'm not even saying is true, right? I don't think we should get complacent. But that said, uh, let's take a listen. This was Bill Maher's take. So folks, if you enjoy the content, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you are new. And uh, here was the live instant reaction Saturday night following the shooting at the Trump rally. Unequivocally denounced. I don't care what you think about it. Not funny. I so unequivocally denounce. Not funny. You hear that, Destiny? You hear that? Mr. Edgelord, Mr. I don't care about Corey. Haha, <laughs> it's funny that he got killed. That's how you're supposed to respond in a public life to an assassination attempt. I'm just saying. Okay. I'm sure there will be jokes that people will make because they hate him so much about they wish to went the other way. Not for me. Not for me. Thank you. Not for me. They need to mention that whoever did this, whoever was the shooter, has done so much damage to the left, lost a lot of moral high ground in the you're the violent people. You know, liberals don't shoot people. Liberals don't solve it that way. Or we can suggest, when I say moral high ground, I just read this on the show last night, the 2025 project, that is the that's sort of the plank of the Republican Party, which uh, starts their convention tomorrow in Milwaukee. I will be there to go to the strip clubs um, and see who's there. But, but the guy who wrote that, he said, this is our new plan. He said, this is the new revolution for America, which I've heard a thousand times from Newt Gingrich and on forward. Everybody has a new revolution for America. But they don't always say what this guy said, which he's, he added, it'll be bloodless as long as the liberals let it happen. Okay? That's not cool either. This shit has got to stop because... So I will push back there a little bit, as you can see, and I sort of predicted this, even when an anti-Trumper tried to assassinate Donald Trump, they are still going to turn this into the boogeyman of right-wing violence. Like, yeah, it's bad what happened, but the real problem is the right and their violence. It's like, okay, we're not the ones who just tried to assassinate the political candidate. That is clearly someone, whatever his politics were, at least not on our side. But at the same time, look, I understand what Bill Maher is saying when he says liberals don't commit violence, they don't you know do that because he's trying to discourage it. Sure, that is true. But the idea that since 2016 and arguably before that, we've never seen left-wing violence, did BLM, did the summer of 2020 never happen? Did the media and many characters out there totally excuse what was going on? You know, you have that famous photograph of the city of, I believe, Kenosha, Wisconsin, burning all around the CNN reporter. And what does he say? He says, fiery but mostly peaceful protests like these are the types of excuses the left has denied political violence for years at the 2020 presidential debate joe biden said that antifa was just an idea when donald trump asked him to condemn no not an idea but the very real radical leftist anarchists who were truly out there committing violence in the streets they were assaulting people they were vandalizing property they were throwing things at police and uh, it was excused as just an idea idea. So I understand Bill Maher, you know, I give him credit for trying to bring down the temperature and saying, look, my side is not about violence. But at the same time, let's not pretend I'm not saying Bill Maher endorses it, but let's not pretend like the left wing has just been totally peaceful for all of U.S. history, because that is not true. And especially recently, that is certainly not true. So just going to point that out. None of this happens in the back room. It's never in the back room. 
But I'm glad he's okay, Trump. I gotta say this, the luckiest motherfucker <laughs> I has ever walked the face of the earth. And again, I'm happy he's okay. But I mean, 2016, that is kind of the luckiest. He lost the popular vote by a lot. He just pulled it inside straight. Everything happened with him this way. The Democratic turmoil that's going on in the party right now, Joe Biden being his opponent, always lucky, lucky, lucky. <laughs> and when I saw that photo today of him with the blood streaming down his face, I don't want to say the election is over, <laughs> but, uh, you know, because anything can happen in an election, but Jesus Christ, I mean, <sighs> yes, MAGA Nation finally has its full martyr. They left him when he went to jail. The mugshot, I gotta say, he is insane and he is a criminal, but that mugshot fucking nailed him. <laughs> <Her first. laughs> and this, he played this scene. Like he had rehearsed it. <laughs> take one, take one. With no, and that would be. So as you can see here, Bill Maher, like many other liberals, has basically acknowledged reality in this moment. And even before that, you go back to the debate, you go back to the polls before the debate, everything is pointing to Trump is going to win this election and win it big. But with that said, okay, so in his own words, it's basically being handed to us. Let's not get complacent, right? Let's make sure that that ends up happening. Like I saw someone on Twitter on Saturday basically say, Trump just took a bullet for you. The least you can do is show up to vote for him in November. And that's the way I feel exactly. Don't get complacent. Don't take anything for granted. Let's make sure that we win this election by as big of a landslide as we possibly can and uh, prove in this instance, prove Bill Maher right that it was an inevitability. But OK. That would be idiot the end i'm glad to hear at least bill maher is not endorsing the insane blue and non liberal conspiracy theory that the entire thing was staged which if you go to the comment sections on any mainstream news outlet on social media you will see that there are plenty of democrat voters in this country that genuinely still believe that they genuinely still believe this entire assassination attempt was staged of course we are talking about a very situation where the shooter was killed with real bullets and uh, obviously an innocent man Corey was killed protecting his family with real bullets and people still believe this crap is that the entire thing with live ammunition was staged by Donald Trump to just make sure he looked cool for the election or something it's a totally ridiculous conspiracy theory and by the way if you really do believe it was staged think about the logistics there so you really mean to me that, you know, someone sat down in a room and they talked to Trump. They said, hey, look, it would look really cool if you survived an assassination attempt. So what we're going to do is we're going to use real live bullets. I'm not sure they said it was either a 308 round or a 556 round, right? We're going to have a real guy with a rifle on the rooftop. He's going to shoot at you, but we're going to make sure he grazes your ear exactly from almost 150 yards away. He's going to look at you. He's going to shoot at you. It's going to graze your ear and it'll be fine what like like you really think donald trump sat down and said yeah yeah i want someone to be pointing at me with an ar-15 and uh you know sh make sure he hits me right here that's what these people seriously believe 
Okay, and they're the same clowns who call those the conspiracy theorists. We're science deniers. We believe in all this crazy nonsense. But you seriously believe Donald Trump sat down and told people to stage an assassination attempt with live ammunition where the bullet literally grazes past his head. You know, it's not like, oh, he it's a wild miss or something. It's guaranteed it's not going to hit him. No, again, bad shot. Smallest amount of wind, he'd be dead. But yeah, Trump is such a crazy, evil threat to democracy. He signed off on that. Why? Because I'm a complete blue and on lunatic and I don't live in reality. If you believe that the shooting against Trump still days later, when we know all the details, if you seriously believe it was staged or some type of false flag that didn't even happen, I don't know what to tell you. OK, maybe you should seek mental help. But there you have it. At least Bill Maher does not believe this. All right. That said, folks, let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comment section down below. Give me a review of Bill Maher's reaction. Be sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you are new. And until next time, God bless and peace.